Hello guys, welcome to my channel Data Science Anywhere. In this video, we will see how to deploy WordPress website in AWS, which is fast and secure. Let's see how to deploy it. Step number one, go to Google and type AWS console. Click on the first URL that appears. Step number two is login to AWS console. If you are not having the AWS account, then go to AWS sign up options and create an account. In my case, I already having the AWS account with me, so I'll start away go to the login to my account. Since I am the root user, click on root user radio button and enter the email address, then click on next. After that, it will ask you for the password and enter the password and click on sign in. Now you are in the AWS management console. Step number three, launch new EC2 instance. In order to launch the EC2 instance, go to service, click on EC2. Now you will be in the EC2 console. As you can see here, there is one of the instances running with me since I already running one of the instance here. In order to see the instance that are running, click on instance to see more instance. In order to create a new instance, click on launch instance. Here you need to choose Amazon Machine Image and default you are in the quick start page where you can see the popular images that will be used for deployment. Since we need WordPress, I don't require all this. For that, I will go to the Amazon Marketplace where I can find the third party machine images. Yes, now I can see Amazon Machine Images. Scroll down and check for the WordPress certified Bitnami and automatic. And select this image. You can find the total billing per hour based on the type of instance you choose and hit there. So click on continue. Choose the instance type which required for your business application. In my case, I will show you the free drive instance. I will check that and click on next configure instance details. I will use the preset configuration, but one thing I will change is auto assign public IP that will enable it. Then I will click on add storage. Here you can configure the volume type and storage. I will set the preset options like 10 GB memory and volume type is general purpose SSD. Okay, nothing here. Click on the configuring the security group. I will use the preset settings and finally review and launch. Where you can review the instance launch and then launch it. Now it is asking for the key pair which is used to connect the Amazon mission image through SSH. I already has the key pair with me. If you don't have any key pair, then create the key pair to change the type to create new pair and then enter the pair name that you wish. Then download the key pair. Keep this in a safe place as it is very important if you want to connect to the instance. This is very much required. Now launch the instance. That's it. You have launched the instance successfully and you can see that status of the instance is launching. In order to see the instance, go to the service. Click on EC2 for EC2 console and then click on instance. Here you can see one more instance is running and given the public IP address. 
This is the IP address where my WordPress website is deployed. And you can see the status is still initializing. Wait for a few seconds until it gets checks. Now you can see the status has checks and we are ready to go. Copy the public IP address and paste it in a new tab and go. You can see now the WordPress website has been deployed successfully. In order to customize this WordPress website, go to admin by, by entering backslash admin. What we require here is username and password. For that, go to the instance and right click and go to instance settings. From there, click on get systems log. Now you can find the system log for your machine image. Scroll down and check for username and password. As here you can find the username is user and password is auto generated something like this. Note down these details. What do you do? You do go to search and type for the text document and enter the username. Username is user and the password is this. Now enter the username and the password details what you have note down and click on login. Now you have successfully entered into the admin dashboard where you can customize your websites by adding new plugins etc. That's it guys this is how you can able to deploy the WordPress website in Amazon Web Services. AWS. If you like this video, please click on the like and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get more updates for interesting videos like this. Thanks for watching us.